Hey everybody, Mark here. Hey, I hope everyone's doing well. It's a Friday evening here. Long weekend for me. I actually found out I the yesterday that I, I actually have Monday off for, for Martin Luther. So, yay for me. Three-day weekend. But you know what I wanted to talk about? Um, the DeFalco. So my higher-end DeFalco controller and my base model... I started out with these DD505s. I have four of them. I was running these on my AFX track. And they're a great controller for the money. The, the sensitivity adjustment lets you run just about any car. And this is an $89 controller. The DD502, I believe, is $196, almost a $200 controller. Um, it has... Uh, braking traction control. It's got re replaceable resistor networks, so you can actually change the resistor networks and kind of change the adjust the curve or the throttle. I have the base HO, the recommended one for for most HO cars, is what this comes with. This actually obviously has no replaceable resistor networks. It's got not quite as nice a cord. The uh, 502 has like the braided metal braid heavier duty cord whereas the uh, 505 is just kind of this white cord with these thinner wires coming out going to the alligator clip so I think it could have a little bit better cord on the on the 505 um, but you know I started thinking and something I never really did since I bought the nicer um, DeFalco is really compare, like, you know, what am I getting for my money? Is it really helping me that much? <laughs> am I getting, get better numbers, more, you know, do more laps with the more expensive controller? So I thought I would, um, I'm going to run a Mega G Plus car, which just about everybody has. And maybe also I'll do the same test with a higher-end Viper car, 6-ohm Viper spec racer car. And we'll do two minutes, just for the sake of time. We'll do two minutes with each car, with each controller. And we'll see what kind of numbers we get. Let's see if uh, if the... Double the cost controller. Somehow I have a feeling it's not going to give me double the results, but hopefully it gives me um, some advantage that makes it worth spending all that money on the higher end controller. So I'm going to pause the camera for a second, get a view of the track for you guys, and we'll run these tests. All right, hopefully that's a good view. I'm going to start with the Mega G Plus with the DD505 lower end DeFalco controller. I'm going to try and drive like I would in a race, not really for the fastest time, but I want to try and do the most laps and we'll see how it goes. All right, here we go. quite light. Uh, you wouldn't you definitely not get the team to use this controller. Uh-oh, there's a D-slot and that tight turn there. Probably shouldn't talk and drive. <laughs> Thank you. 
just pulled off that one last lap. That was two two minutes. That crash almost cost me a lap. Yellow flag. Yeah. All right, so we did 28 laps with a median of 4.01, so about a four second median, best lap of 3.84. All right, let's, um, we'll do this again. I did clean the tires before I did that, so I'm gonna clean the tires again. And we'll switch over to the higher end Falco. See if we can see what kind of laps we can do in times running the same car on the same lane. Let me go ahead and abort this. Start this over. All right, here we go. I can't feel that like this 30 band controller is smoother. It's a little bit smoother. So it's not, you know, I need it, but it is a little smoother. I feel like I have a little bit more control. So it really doesn't matter that this controller has brakes, but I do use the traction control. I've had it set about halfway. Two more laps spread over four heats, that could mean eight more laps for me in a race. So that, that is that is kind of significant. But for your home use, you know, I, I you can't I can't recommend spending two hundred dollars on a controller for home. There's no point to it. Um, just for the heck of it, we'll do a, we'll do the same test with with the Viper, with the Viper car.
Falco controller. Let's see if we can uh, do more than what was it? Twenty nine laps. Uh, Thirty nine laps. All right, here we go. Ooh. over a span of a race so again there's no justification to needing this higher end controller especially on your home track so 
for me, for racing, I, I think it, it's probably going to help me out. Maybe gain a few more laps than I would use in this controller over the course of a, several races. So, for the club racer, I think there's there's definitely some some justification to uh, the higher end controller. But that's it. What do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments if you found this interesting. Um, I definitely feel like the the base controller is definitely a great upgrade over your stock controller that comes with the track, but you definitely don't need to go spending two hundred dollars. You know, seventy, eighty dollar controller will uh, give you what you need. Um, I did order the OS three light controller. I was hoping that would have been here today, but maybe it'll get here tomorrow. So I'm going to do a similar test and compare the OS three light. To my OS3 uh, All Pro controller, my wireless controller. This is a $250 controller compared to the OS3 Lite, which is a $79 control dollar controller. So it's actually $10 cheaper than the DeFalco controller. And I'm going to certainly compare the OS3 Lite to the 505, kind of have a showdown of the the budget controllers. So. Look forward to that. That's all coming up. And yeah, I'm getting close to a thousand subscribers too. So I'm gonna think about another giveaway. I, I think I might actually give away that uh, OS3 Lite controller after I review it. I might give that away as part of my giveaway for reaching a thousand subscribers. Probably build another Viper or two and give away a couple of Vipers. So. If you guys could help me get to a thousand, we'll have those giveaways coming up. I think I'm about 90 shy of reaching a thousand. So, all right, guys, that's it for now. I hope everybody uh, has a great weekend, and we'll talk with you guys soon.